What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today we're going to put to the test five more kitchen gadgets. Let's see what I got this time. For the first gadget I got here a Sinan TV kitchen gadget. Rotator potato peeler. Let's see how it works. Nice. Look at that. It comes with a french fries slicer as well. Looks like brand new. All we have to do is just set this up and that's it. Let's grab a potato. The cool part about this gadget I have put to the test but electric. This one is handheld or hand crank I mean. Put the potato in and then slice this side in the middle. I mean put it in right in the middle. And then I guess we just rotate it. I think I also put it the wrong way. I think I have to reset it up like that. There you go. That's much better. Oh yeah, it works way better, but for some reason it got stuck again. Give this thing another shot. There you go. A little bit of struggle. Maybe I should be going a lot faster. First potato was a bit of fail, but let's try another one. Kind of worked. Okay, one more shot with a different potato. Okay, first potato was a fail, but I feel like I was learning. So let's give this thing another shot. Okay, kind of hard to start it out. There you go. And you want to keep going fast. Ah, no man, it's kind of gets stuck right here in the middle. So I have to reset it again. Maybe it's just broken. And it gets clogged too. So I reset it again. There you go. I'll tell you what, the electric one works much better, that's for sure. But looks like it's just getting stuck sometimes and keep grinding it in one spot. Maybe I got the damaged one, but still, pretty cool gadget though. I wish it worked a little bit better. Because look how awesome it peels the potato. For the next gadget, I got here potato slicer. Right here you adjust how thick you're going to do it. I'm going to do it on one first. And let's put the potato in and uh, there's a holder in, goes inside there and let's slide it. Whoa, this is fast, wait, it goes inside here. Pump it and look what's happening. Look how fast that is. The whole potato in slices. Look how thin that is too. That's amazing, wow. Then you take it out. You can make potato chips almost. This is so cool. Let's try to do it on two. Obviously if it does so good on one, on two it's gonna do just as well. Another potato in here. Put it this way. Put it this way again. And there goes nothing. This has got to be super awesome because I could not chop up potatoes that thin without that gadget. Wow, so cool. Let's try another potato. Okay, one more time, three potatoes as fast as possible. Boom, one. There goes two. I don't even have to push it. That's the coolest part. It helps though. Okay, I'm gonna do it on one this time. Really, really thin this time, last one. Look at that. So much potato sliced up. Okay, there goes nothing. This is super thin. Look at that. 
Boom! This is the thinnest it can do. Anesi paper thin. This is so cool. Now you can make chips so easily. Wow! And the coolest part is you can fold it together so much by pulling this. This stays together. Then you pull the cover in just to keep the blade away like this. Then right here you turn it and it locks in and then you have three little pieces. Boom! You're ready to go. Store it. You can use it for the next time. Amazing! Look how much potatoes I sliced up instantly. In case you're wondering who makes this awesome gadget, right here, one for all. For the next gadget I'm going to make almond milk. And in instruction we'll need another gadget right here. We'll need one of those special blenders. Guess what? I got right here a blender by KitchenAid. So we'll be using these two gadgets, see how well they're going to do. Let's see what this KitchenAid will give us. Okay. Whole bunch of stuff. A mixer. All these attachments. That's a lot of attachments. This right here, a mini blender. Very nice mixer. What I will need to use is just one of these. Boom. Step one, you put some almonds in, then you put some water in and keep it in there for 12 hours. After 12 hours, everything going to get much, much thicker. So then what you would do is squish this thin together and pour the water out. In 12 hours, you're going to do the water change and let's see how this gadget works. Whoa, this is fast. Yes, I gotta do this for two to three minutes. Oops. It's a mess, that's for sure. There you go, this is better. Don't lift it out too much. But at least there was some kind of color because I made a lot of mess. Oh wait, no wonder I failed. I was supposed to do this inside of this thing. So let's try this again. Let's see if it's going to spill or not. Oh yeah, much better. This is, does not spill. So make sure you read the instructions because now, as you can see, it does not spill, even if I take it out. Okay, much better. Okay, then stick this in and push it down. And you want to push it all the way down to get rid of all that, those almonds. Seems like it's pushing to quite a bit of almonds anyways. Boom. Then you can pour it and you got here almond milk. And boom, you got yourself almond milk. Pretty interesting gadget. I actually done before almond milk in a blender. Anyways, this KitchenAid gadget really powerful. I like it a lot. And the blender attachment, mixer attachment with all these containers. I think this is really nice. I definitely would rather use this stuff for something else. Definitely not making almond mints ever again. It doesn't even taste that good. For the next gadget, I got here food scoop set. Let's see what it's all about. You can use one of these to clean it out very, very easily from all the seeds. I like it. Can this one be useful too? Very much so. Boom, look how fast that is. Take all the seeds instantly. Obviously, put this in a compost pile. Nice. And of course, you can make layer balls. I like those balls makers a lot. So pretty cool gadget, works. And quick and easy as you can see. And you got right here, melon balls. You just have to flip them upside down. Makes sense, right? And obviously you can use it for kiwis, wash them off, ready to use for next time. I like it. Pretty cool, easy gadget. 